Hello, welcome to Biograde TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. How the military entered the Algerian politics. Algeria has had an active history of revolution and change of government with two coups that have got the military directly involved in their politics. The first Algerian coup was in 1965 with the goal to bring an end to the leadership of the first president of the country, President Ben Bella. After the Algerian War of Independence between 1954 and 1962, Ahmed Ben Bella became the Prime Minister of Algeria when the Chief of Staff, Houari Boumedien, and the National Liberation Army, ALN, helped him to remove former Prime Minister Ben Youssef Benkeda in September 1962. Ben Bella then appointed the then Chief of Staff, Houari Boumedien, as Defense Minister of Algeria. President Ben Bella started to pull more powers to himself than normal by holding several appointments and positions. For instance, he made himself the Minister of Interior and General Secretary of his political party, among other positions. Between 1962 and 1965, the Algerian government was subjected to different unexpected changes and this made many people within the government complain. Some of these Algerians met with Bomedien to report their worries over the leadership of Ben Bella. On the other hand, President Ben Bella was planning to make major changes in the leadership of the country's military and reorganizing the Algerian armed forces. His plan was to reduce the role of the country's National Liberation Army and increase the people's militias in Algeria. There was a power struggle between Ben Bella and Houari Boumedien before Ben Bella forced the Interior Minister and Minister for Foreign Affairs to resign. These ministers, Ahmed Medegri and Abdelaziz Bouteflika, were officials who were close to Boumedien. Houari Boumedien then made several trips to the capital of influential nations like Russia and Egypt in the beginning of 1965. He also served as the Algerian representative at a summit of Arab countries and attended meetings with the leaders of the Soviet Union in Moscow. After representing his country many times, Houari Boumedien and some leaders of the Algerian armed forces started to discuss how to remove President Ben Bella. The chief of staff and some regional officers, Hussein Abdelkader Chabo and Jamil, were supporters of the planned coup. The coup started on the night of the 18th of June, 1965. Commander Abdelkader Chabo led the coup, while Houari Boumedien supervised it from his office. President Ben Bella stayed at the presidential residence in Villa Joy. The Villa Joy was protected by guards of the Compagnie Nationale de Sécurité (CNS), and these guards were changed every night at 8 o'clock. On this night of 18th of June, the director of security, Ahmed Dreyer, made sure that the new guards were controlled by the military. Huari Boumedien also commanded the military to move some armored tanks to different parts of the capital city of Algiers. When it was about 1.30 in the morning of 19th June 1965, commanders of the military, Tahar Zabiri, Said Abid, and Colonel Abbas were allowed to go into Villa Joy by the new guards at the entrance. The three military officers knocked on President Ben Bella's door and informed him that he was no longer the president of Algeria. They allowed Ben Bella to get dressed and kept him under arrest in an unknown location. This coup was successful and over by 3 o'clock in the morning of 19th of June, and there had been no killing. The coup replaced the first president, Ben Bella, with the chairman of the Revolutionary Council, Colonel Houari Boumedien, as the new president of Algeria. Some of the supporters of Ben Bella and members of his government were arrested and imprisoned by Colonel Boumedien. 
The colonel was supported by his partners from the Algerian People's National Army. Ben Bella was arrested on the 19th of June, 1965, and effectively removed from office. He also stayed under house arrest for another 15 years. On the 12th of June, 1990, Algeria organized its first free election since independence. Although the ruling party of the president had created new liberal reforms, most of the Algerian voters chose the Islamist Front FIS, and the party won 54% of votes cast. Many Algerians in the urban parts of the country supported the FIS and praised its administration for being without corruption. However, the FIS ordered female municipal workers to wear veils and forced non-Islamic establishments like liquor stores to shut down. They also planned to remove any form of French influence on Algeria and favored Arabic in their education, government, and culture. Two years after, on the 11th of January 1992, the Algerian army canceled the ongoing election in the country and forced President Ben Jadid to resign from his position. The army brought in a former supporter of Algerian independence, Mohamed Boudiaf, to become the chairman of the High Council of State, which is a military-backed presidency in Algeria. He was president of the country for just a few months. Later that year, on the 29th of June 1992, a personal bodyguard killed President Bordiaf. The assassin was Lieutenant Lambarek Buma Arafi, who was sentenced to death three years later in 1995, but he wasn't killed, despite the death penalty. The Algerian army made 5,000 arrests of members of the Islamist Front after cancelling the 1992 elections, including Abdelkader Hachani, the leader of the group. There has been no coup attempt after these, except of course that of the 2019 revolution, where President Bouteflika was pressured by the military to step down and a new election was held. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.